for St. John's number four, Michael Porter. And for St. John's number three, Boo Harvey. The official Lions of Loyola. And that enables the Lions to set up the oppressed St. John's, though, effectively breaking it. Brush with the left hand, lays it in, and a foul called, a blocking foul. And Matt Brush will look for the three-point play. That's the way you break pressure. St. John traditionally has been content to break that pressure and set up and get the good offensive chance. Almost a kick ball there as the ball hit the back of Hank Gather's foot, but Matt Brush picks it up, finishes it off, and a block right now for St. John's. They're allowing penetration. Unusual to see St. John's not helping out on that break. Here's Boo Harvey, and this could be the type of game that fits his style because he loves the open court. 10-9, Loyola. On the baseline, gathers, backing in. Fryer fires. Rebound to Michael Porter. Here's Boo Harvey, one on three. He pulls up anyway, and he gets the roll. Oh, this is really... The kind of game we were expecting at the beginning. James out of control. Porter picks it up. Michael Post Porter. Post. Three on two. Shelton Jones. A monster slam. Yeah, but off there really on the help out. And then transition wise coming back. Boo Harvey reads the defense very well. And he's got the clear lane for the easy basket for St. John's. Both teams really going at each other. If it slows down a little bit, look for St. John's to try to dump it inside to Baldi or Shelton Jones. Matt Bruss can take advantage of it. Again, Porter well above the rim, fighting with his own man, Matt Bruss. Gets way up for a 6-1 ball player, above the rim on many occasions. Bruss to Jones. Shelton down low where he likes it, puts it up. Rebound Porter, there he is, gets the basket and a foul. And Michael Porter, who plays above the rim, He's going to get a lot of points in the offensive board. Hey, you've got to like the way he plays. Shelton needs to get it and just make his good quick move. Aiming the ball a little bit, not with not having a good angle to kiss it off the glass. But Porter is there. Very strong, agile, and he can get way up. Chance for the three-point play. He is only 6'1", but has a vertical jump of somewhere between 35 and 40 inches. And he hits the three-point play. Uh, it has a nice dimension to your backcourt when you've got a guy that can go in and get you a few rebounds and help out inside. He averaged six rebounds per game in junior college for a guard. You read that stat and you wonder, gee, is that legit? It's legit after you see him play. Well, yesterday in his opener, he had 10 rebounds, 15 points, six assists, three steals. Did he play a complete game? Yes. Good all-around effort. Gathers a USC transfer along with Bo Kimball, both from the Philadelphia area. Bo Kimball out with that fractured patella. They say he might be the best one of them all. Supposed to be the best player on the team. Good backcourt kid. St. John's leading by two, 8.40 first half. Michael Porter. Great spring in his legs, and he just seems to glide through the air. Beautiful rhythm. Russ seems to be the kind of guy that comes out quickly at the beginning of the game, at the beginning of the second half, because he's always ready to play very intensely. Drew Harvey comes up with a loose ball. He goes all the way, lays it up and in. That might be the understatement of the day. All in from head to toe. Porter, Baldy, Russ. Lou Harvey, he hits. Nice touch. St. John's doing a good job off the board as a result. They're controlling this tempo and working their half-court game much more in this second half. Lou Harvey penetrating and hitting. Playing much more under control in the second half, taking what the defense gives them. Play. They could catch it. Right, 12 minutes to go. 60 to 52, St. John's by eight. Boo Harvey is free. He hits it. He's going to get that shot. And if he proves he can hit it, defense are going to have to push him back. Oh, they're going to have to, and that'll make his passing game that much more effective. Right now, Loyola really sloughing off of Boo. You can see it every time they work the ball on offense. Well, it was a nice package deal. They played together last year at San Jacinto. That time, Porter setting up Harvey. I think we'll see a lot going the other way as the season progresses. I agree.
Snyder, but St. John's has, I think, intentionally tried to lull it a little bit to get into their half-court game. And here's a trap employed by Loyola. Michael Porter fires and hits. 2-3 trapping defense. Getting it out there to Jeff Pryor in good position to score. They run down and set up behind the three-point line on the fast break. Lou Harvey looking inside. Now he takes it himself. Pretty move. 14 for Boo Harvey. Ten of them in the second half, and he's played much more under control in the second half. Corey Gaines dumps it off underneath. This is Gathers. Nice move. And now you ice him a little bit with the uh, timeout, so we'll see how Michael responds. Three for three from the line in the game. He hits the first, calmly. Very nice form. That's why, you, as, a, as a free throw shooter, you want to develop a routine from the foul line so that no matter when you're taking that shot, you just go back to your mechanics. It looks very fluid on the first one. Short, rebound Loyola. And the ball is taken away by Porter, who lays it in! What a play by Porter! That was it right there, another and Brush takes it away. Wait, a technical foul called on Brush. Reached over the line, Bruce. 88-84 is the score. Now, Loyola will get the technical shot. Two shots, Bruce. Two shots, and they'll get the ball. So, it's conceivable that they could even have a chance to win the game That's right. with a three-pointer here. Going to send Yost to the line. He's been making one of the two, but if he makes them both, or even if he makes one with the ball, you've got a chance to tie this thing up. Great steal by Porter. He misses the second free throw. Comes in with a beautiful runner along the baseline. Gets up over the rim, drops it in, and then Matt Brust reaching over the line.